And the Monday Night Lights podcast is back. Brian Piercy here along with, uh, we have Dylan Lesnar. What's up, boys? Keith Wood. And hey, Mr. Hey. Ty Otto. How are you boys doing today? He, man. Hey, look at my words. No, he, man. No, macho, man. No, no, nothing. Just here after a loss for the first time. It's not as good as it was. Well, uh, riding high over here because we finally got the monkey off our back and, put, and hung a L on the seals for the first time all season, so... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and yeah. I'm in purgatory. <laughs> You're in purgatory. Oh, hey, it's all good. It's all good. So, as always, give us a call on the Whoop line seven one four seven five Whoop. Email the show at podcast at mnlhl dot com. Follow and subscribe to us on Twitch. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, that means you have Twitch Prime. So, uh, you know, make sure that you actually, uh, you know, set that up. Give us that uh, monthly follow. If you have any questions on how to do that, just, uh, you know, let me know. Let Drager know. We're more than happy to help you out uh, there. Check out youtube.mnlhl.com. We post all these shows here uh, as well. So, uh, yeah. So uh, if you're interested in joining the podcast, let us know as well. But let's kind of move on to things real quick. As you guys know, all season long, we actually had our pick em contest, and we have our winner over there, Mr. Dylan Lesnar. Ooh. He actually received... Uh, Four tickets to a Michigan game, I believe him and uh, former retired uh, WBW <laughs> worm, Mr. Dave P, were able to go with their two kids. So why don't you give us a quick uh, rundown of that, Dylan? Yeah, thank you, uh, the Otto family property, for uh, giving me these tickets. It was a great game. Front row seats. Um, Mrs. Otto was there. She's a super mensch. She was a... What the fuck was that? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, she was... Uh, Awesome lady, great to meet her, and uh, I took my kid and Dave P and little Dap, and they both just had a fucking amazing time. So it was a great time all in all, and uh, thank you guys for the tickets. Yeah, that's a great time. Uh, Ty, I know it's always kind of Troy's, the the face of it on the podcast or anything like that, but as an OFP, <laughs> auto family property guy, uh, we always appreciate the support thank you, to the man. league as a whole thank and you. for the Pick'em Contest. Wait, what's this? I said on the podcast, he's had more episodes than you have. How many has he been on? He's been on more than that, really? but uh, but I have more he's viewers. a he's a looker of the I idols. Let's views. be honest, he's a I looker. You create more quality content, is what you're saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, super quick as well. Big shout out to Mr. Jeremy Drager. Looks like he gave his uh, Twitch Prime as well eight months for him. And I actually think that was my computer going through the speakers where he said, let's go, boys. I, apparently it reads it off and I didn't have my actual computer speakers muted. So never had that happen before. <laughs> Fun event. But uh, yeah, great thing uh, there. Other things. Speaking of Mr. Drager, he was out on the ice on last the ice night. For the first time, right? Yeah, as, as we know, he had to miss the entire season this year. ACL surgery coming back from there. His doctors gave him the okay to put the skates on, so he's able to do that, kind of move around a little bit. Obviously, he's not going full out injuries, but it's nice just to see him out on the ice and, uh, you know, one step closer to being ready for next year. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. He looked good out there. Skating good. Yeah, my, my three rankings, I've got him as probably fourth round, third round. Oh, for sure. For, for sure. Yeah, I mean... Him and him and uh, Todd coin flip right now. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Smoke, baby. Smoke and fire. Yeah. I mean, both of them are only going to improve come the season, you know, with that smoke, with a who knows how long uh, Todd's going to be dry for. Is it, if you guys don't win the keg, it might be until another year and a half from now or so. <laughs> Is there a bet at play here on that? Um, I'm not having a bet. I'm... It's been a historical run. I mean, honestly, he, when you said that, January 3rd, so he was going to have a dry January. The bet he's taken to the third at best. But it's, been a, it's been a long run. I don't know if he's snuck one or two after a hockey game, but I haven't seen it. So. I haven't seen it all, and he looks tremendous. So, he looks great out there. Yeah. He's skating great. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I actually was just notified by the chat. Chat. Apparently, I forgot to unmute uh, Ty's mic. What? He was oh, stuck. God. <laughs> fucking Piercy. Fucking A. <laughs> God. Hey, apparently, I'm a little off my game right now. I, this is the treatment I get. Yeah. You missed no some, respect. You, no you missed respect. amazing things that came out of my mouth. Man, you you missed it. It was great. <laughs> yep. It was weird. I feel Forever like we lost. could still we could still Forever hear you lost. a little bit though because I was looking at your levels. I was like, they're a little bit low. I'm trying to turn them a little bit up, <laughs> but they weren't like super super low. So I don't know. Anyways, I think we're all happy for Mr. Jeremy Jager getting back on the ice. Hopefully, I don't know if you're going to be ready for a summer skate like with the K Falks. It'd be nice to be able to do that before. Uh, I guess the new season comes along, but play it safe. Be smart about it. Don't do anything to risk further injury because nobody wants to miss another year, I think, is the main thing there. Yep, yep. But uh, I think we're here for the main event now. Da, uh, na, 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 na. The playoffs. So uh, coming into last night, we had two games, you know, three-game series. There's always an elimination possibility in those second games. So kind of moving on to the first game, uh, we had the North Stars versus the Tigers. The North Stars were up one nothing in the series with the Tigers back against the wall for elimination. The Tigers were able to pull it out three to two. A uh, few things as noted before, uh, Matt Taylor was out. We were kind of thinking that was going to happen. Um, one of the big surprises as well was uh, Hedis, goalie, he was out. Apparently he had a shoulder injury. I didn't hear what exactly happened there. Uh, I know he said he couldn't lift his arm. He was there as a coaching spirit. So uh, Dylan over here was able to fill in for him as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, as a person directly on a team, uh, unfortunately, the losing team, Mr. Ty Otto, why don't you give your initial rundown of this game? Uh, it was a good game. Uh, I mean, I saw Spicy Tender. He's total at 100%. He just took a mental beat, beat down, and he can't handle losing to us. So it's hot a take, shame. Hot take. It, it's, it's a shame that we did that to him. And honestly, I hope he can man up and play in game three he was good enough know. to be at the gym but, today i mean yeah he went to the gym he's doing everything else this injury that I know, happened on a parade a parade route waving hand Honestly, up in the air shoulder if we, okay if we if we heard him that bad i feel bad you know i mean i don't i'm not trying my 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 little ribbing and everything it. you don't feel bad at all i do feel bad no, no I, i'm not here to, i'm not here to make anyone quit hockey or anything like that as far as you know i'm sorry that head is the head is chant was too much and all that stuff. But anyways, it, the game was obviously disappointing. Um, I think we played, we didn't play terrible. We didn't play great. We didn't get enough pressure on Dylan. Uh, we, I mean, we've been on such a hot streak. We haven't lost since before Thanksgiving. So it, I mean, it kind of hurt today. I was like depressed. I'm like, oh my God, this is a terrible day. I haven't had this losing feeling. I'm like, this is much, this is how vape feels like almost every day, <laughs> every Tuesday for four years. This is how dave pete feels i'm like this is horrible and i I started (laughs) thinking like god you know i gotta be nice to these people because they don't win all the time like we do so (laughs) anyways the game was the game was i mean fister came in and honestly he's just a different animal than he's completely different animal he's like matt taylor's an animal he's an animal but they're just different different types of animals Mm -hmm. and uh they played they did their uh we couldn't get comfortable i mean we're used to getting lots of opportunities and putting goals in the, you know, lots of chances and some of them go in and we've been piling up some goals. We did not get, we had good chances, but not as many as we normally get. Uh, and the credit is due to, I, I give the management for uh, the Tigers a lot of credit for the whole week because for a while they were all quiet. And then Skillman came out with a beautiful picture on Slack of the Tiger, the think of the Game of Thrones dragon and, you know, kind of gave them life, but it felt like they were dead. And then they came out, and then they made these line adjustments. I think it's all correlated. They just said, okay, Ty, you've inspired us again. Even- 
<laughs> you inspired us. Because, I mean, it is Slack. It, I mean, you're at the point in Slack where it's like, there's teams not in there. I mean, you're the whale. You're like Dave P. You're just falling off the face of the earth. You're, your team's <laughs> out of it. You're not on Slack. And then for some reason, like teams, <laughs> if you're like, lo- even Proctor, all, I mean, he's been gone. He's been in Aspen a while, but this whole week he hasn't said shit. It's like since they went down on one. So the t- between the teams that are out of the playoffs and then all, and then the teams that lose the night the first game, they're like it's like silence on Slack, and it really drives me nuts. Tigers came out of their shell, came alive on Slack. They changed up the lineup, put uh, Chris Taylor on defense, and to be honest, it gave me nightmares of when the North Stars uh, two years ago played the Seals and we lost two zero uh, against the Seals, and we were like one of the better teams for the we won the season. Um, Chris Taylor and to whoop shut the general. And Bauer and I down, and so I was kind of having nightmares. So they made adjustments. We it messed us up. Our first line looked like shit. Troy, uh, Pistol, and Joe Ellis. I mean, they didn't do, they didn't do anything really well. I want to say that they didn't. They, there was no chemistry. It looked like they hadn't played together. And Hollywood and I and we couldn't. And Geo couldn't get anything done. So we didn't play poorly. We were just a little slow all the way around. Didn't produce the chances. And the Tigers, Dylan played well. The tiger and the tigers did this little I think you know let's say gay but this gay little defensive thing where they hey we're not pulling correct <laughs> around here <laughs> where, <laughs> where they have the two defensemen and then the forward hangs in the middle like a v like a, it's like okay two isn't good but we will make three and they have three guys coming back <laughs> so like to force us that's a new game plan so don't worry skillman we are going to make adjustments it's a game of adjustments and now we've got the brain working you you stepped up to the plate and now we're uh, we're back in the chemistry lab, mixing up the right formula to kick your ass on Monday. <laughs> and we're coming at you, and we are going to kick your ass. And we're we're just not going. We might change lines. Strong words. We might, Mark we Messier might over here. We are coming out, and we're you you got our full attention. And you know, I think we when you win nine, ten games in a row, you kind of it happens. You're just kind of like, okay, we're good, and well, you know. But now we needed a wake up call, and so it's probably a blessing in disguise. Hey, don't throw your shoulder over out over there uh, patting yourself on the back. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so, I so, so Ty, you, you talked a lot there. Oh. You didn't give us a lot of details about okay, what was details. going on in the game. Okay. So, uh, I was giving you the we had, we had, had, No, 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 no. You're, you're, you're done tremendous. for a second. It was tremendous. I liked uh, it. <laughs> Dylan, why don't you get a little bit closer to that microphone? You actually uh, played in this game as well. Mm-hmm. Let, let's kind of see what you thought about this game. All right. So, I thought the North Star's first line uh, with. Sorry about that. With uh, who we had, Sniper, Pete, and Joe Ellis, right? First line? Yep. Yeah, I thought they were, played good. They were just always a step behind each other, especially Sniper and uh, Joe Ellis. They, I mean, they had some tic-tac-toes where it was just literally one step behind. Um, I guess through the grape grapevine, I heard that uh, Pete had uh, some sort of conspiracy theory. Supposed to get a half inch on his skates, but he got five-eighths. That's what did it. That's that's what I heard. But uh, I, yeah, I thought fucking uh, North Stars played great. I got some key points here. You had pressure and chances. I tried slowing the game down as much as I could. Doc Hollywood still was able to net that first one in the second period after three or four opportunities. I got two or three, and then he just put it home. And then after uh, Ben and Fister put one in on uh, Riley, just kind of you guys kind of deflated. I would say. More or less, and then yeah, I put the uh, kibosh on everything. Not to pat myself too much, but uh, I put my own tires. Well, that's the theme of today. You, yeah. you better have some good things to say. So, <laughs> hey, your turn? Thank, you thankfully, thankfully, say. I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every shot I was hearing, Lucy, Goosey, gonna get a busy. Yeah, I was putting the kibosh to that. So I'm glad I give the Tigers uh, a W. Felt good. Um, that third game is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a Real grudge match. So, um, Woods, I know you were probably changing for at least the last period or so. Did you get to watch much of this game? Yeah, I got to watch uh, probably like the end of the first and uh, all of the second before I went and changed. And then I came back out and popped my head out and watched a little bit here and there. Um, yeah, uh, basically what, what uh, He-Man over here said. Um, everyone just seemed like a step behind each other, step off each other. Um, a lot of time spent kind of digging out of corners but not creating anything threatening. I thought you guys' second line played great, though. I, I think all you we, guys did. 
Yeah, I felt like we we didn't get as many chances. We weren't quite as far off as the first slide. But also, I wasn't being a whore out there and giving rebounds like I usually do. I was trying to. I tried smothering yeah. fucking everything. Yeah, don't do that if you're in. The well, net. you also like covered the puck behind the net once. Um, yeah, I dove and I missed it. <laughs> I slid too much. <laughs> How you got to whistle all that one and not a delay a game is beyond me. I'll pay the ref. It wasn't the little Joe. It was the the nice one, whatever his name is. Rob. Thank you. Hold yeah, Rob. Rob. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I, me watching the game, the first goal, we weren't even sure. Like, I was kind of, I think you were at the far end. Yeah, second period. Over there. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of, I was closer to the doors getting out. Uh, we didn't, we thought it was a save. We didn't think stuff went in. I we made, weren't th- sure I made how three it went save, in. Made three saves on the play, and then Doc Hollywood just, bam, 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 So bam. When, when they called the goal there, we were all down there like, what, huh? Because mm-hmm. you couldn't fully tell. We couldn't actually see a lot of celebration as well. It almost looked like one of trying to think i don't know if troy was out there or not but it almost looked like if there was it was one of those fake celebrations troy's known to do where he's like i'm just gonna raise my hands and hope that it helps the ref make a decision there Mm -hmm. uh going back you know it was a close game back and forth uh i believe what was it ben had a shorthanded goal for his goal so uh Mm -hmm. that one was nice it was a slap shot oh that uh, pumped us up kind of a screenshot five hole through the hole Mm -hmm. so that was Ben was super fired up. He gave one of those kind of skating around to the bench, slapping everybody's hand going across, yeah. firing up the team. It's it's what you think of Ben, what you need him for is that leader of a team. Even though he's newer to the Tigers, he's still that leadership oh, yeah. quality for any team, for the league in general, where he's able to, you know, pump that up and go from there. That really put the momentum in our in our favor, I feel. Yeah, that was great. Fister came back with another goal to give you uh give the Tigers that mm-hmm. lead. Um I, I can't fully remember that one. But that one was beautiful. Him and Ben were coming in on a two-on-one, mm-hmm. and Ben just laid the sauciest pass over. I think it was a backhand too. A it, backhand yeah, pass. it, it might have. It might very well have been, and um, put beautiful air under the puck and made it over. Honestly, I have no idea how the puck went in. Uh, it looked like he made it over and and yeah. covered it. It was and, on slack. He put it on slack. Yeah, it was a, it was a sharp angle shot, and he's a big Riley's a big dude with a big butterfly, and he, and he was there. He was there, and it. I don't know if it's it five hole or it was five. Or it what? was five hole. Yeah. It's it's and awkward in those positions. It you know, it squeaked. It was. I was wondering. I couldn't tell. If I, found, I think, but it it's you ball. know what? It's Fister. He knows where to put the puck in the net. Where to put the puck and, score. And fucking Riley got not lucky, but he dodged a bullet when Fister got the breakaway in the first period and donged it off the post. You know, so you know. Can I add one other thing? Am I allowed to speak one more thing about it? Go ahead. Okay. Thank I you. override Pierce. Thank you. you. Let's say what you no, want, he man. Well, I was just gonna say I, I had another compliment out there to sweet to sweet to the overall game plan of the Tigers. So normally when you play the Tigers, if I'm honest with you, and it's the normal Tigers, yeah, Matt please Taylor, do. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's Matt Taylor has the puck a lot of the time, and it's kind of really you got a bunch of these ben- <laughs> you got a bunch of these benders out there. You got Crunk and Sweet Maki out there. They were passing it to Sweet Maki all the time. And I actually talked with Matt LaPoudre after the game. And because normally, like, if you have the decision, you're on defense and you win the puck, and you have the decision to wedge it up there into a tight spot to your your left wing or your center who's not named Krunk or Sweet Maki, or give it to the open guy, Sweet Maki or Krunk, you're like, eh. (laughs) <laughs> I'll wedge it. Fuck it. I'm not gonna pass it to Crunk or Sweet Maki. They were fucking hammering Sweet Maki with pu- 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 mm-hmm. passes left and right. Half of them he didn't yeah, get. Some that. of them were banked off his and ass, crumb off his belly. But they were like they were passing it to them. It and it and it's not. It's just the right play yeah. instead of and they're playing regular hockey. And it it it, it warmed my heart to see Benders because when I coach the Tigers and when I coach the Deeks, I'm always trying to be the bender whisperer as Cohen says and I'm trying to like fire up the benders and try to want them to want the puck and that's the two-way street to be to be fair Ty that's how we kind of felt last week when you had your goal thanks yes so yeah uh, so kind of to finish out the score real real quick with crunk who who got the uh I was just about to go to that okay sorry I was gonna say to round out the scoring on the Tigers crunk got that goal it was off a uh there was a shot on net uh went off the pad of Riley came back to him he got it right away. It was like a bang bang. Yeah, but he showed a little. He didn't shoot it right away. He showed a little like he had some uh, scoring touchy patience. He had like the he did some kind of little move deek deek. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like a panic. Oh, like sometimes I panic because I'm like oh puck net, and then I you yeah know, half the time I whiff it or something. He's like oh I've got the goal scorers touch here. I just patience patience poop. Yeah, and I'm like what the fuck? Is this? I'm like that was crunk. I was like holy shit. 
it, 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 it was well. no, it was it was very pretty um <laughs> very a very pretty goal uh the north stars got one with a pull three goalie seconds left. late it didn't matter much you Dot could tell. had patience again mm-hmm. I give him that. That, that one didn't matter. The game was at hand. It didn't matter. Yeah. But goal, goals are goals. Three seconds, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> they only left. But either way, it, it was a good game. It wasn't dominant, I don't think, one way or the other. Uh, we've kind of covered a little bit. I'll go over to... I'm going to go to Woods on this one because he's more of a neutral party. We know that um, Taylor was out. We know Hedis was out. How much of a factor do you think that was last night? Oof. Um, to say that it's not a factor would be um, clearly um, not factual. Um, I think uh, you could say that they got an upgrade in net. However, with the new defensive system, I don't think that that was the difference in the game uh, by any means. Um, because of the way the North, uh, the North Stars weren't able to really get a lot going, the way the Tigers were able to stifle them, I, I really hang it less on the goaltending change as I do the team actually picking up and, and looking mm-hmm. more like a uh, complete team playing playing complete team hockey. So I, yeah. um, I honestly think those sub-factors, well, a factor, are uh, for this game have been um, minimal. Um, I'm not going to say minimal, um, but it's weird. I, like you said before, there, there are different games. I felt like I saw Fister. He's a little bit different than a proctor as far as he's not creeping out quite as much, More physical. but it, but it felt like more physical uh, player. I felt like he had a lot of either like one on one on ones or breakaway chances that I normally don't necessarily see from a Matt Taylor. I don't know. Yeah. And he also, the, the thing about him is he's 100%. doing that. But you also see him get back. He's back a lot, and he's not like you're seeing him. Yeah. Like he's not cherry picking the whole time. He doesn't so. cry as much as he, Proctor or not Matt at all. He he Matt covers Taylor. more ice he's, than Matt Taylor. If I'm a GM, um, that's for number sure. one pick all day. Mister, I mean, he's just a two. He's like a dad suk, just a the great two way fucking forward. Doesn't want too much credit. Does and he goes out there, does his job, and team player, great guy in the locker room. I can't pump his tires enough. And it's really hard to say because one of the things we've been talking about all year is when Matt Taylor has been around, when he turns it on, he looks super unstoppable. He's unstoppable. He looks great. And it was one of my mm. theories was is he's, let's wait for the playoffs, see what he's really made of. And it's been unfortunate. He did play one game in the playoffs, but he's been hurt. He's not 100%. I really would have liked to have seen what he does as 100%. Of course, Same. I'm saying that right now. But unless he is, would have totally dominated and crushed everybody and just made it a sweep for the Tigers, I might have been saying a different story. Where does story. Matt Taylor get his chances, though? They're not the highest opportunity areas. Um, I don't know because he doesn't uh, get breakaway after breakaway. No, but he's he's a big enough body and he gets up, he gets moving. He's got deceptive speed and he once he gets moving, he's got quick enough hands to move the puck yeah. to the outside and he'll just go right around. He's a great player. Some of the better, best defensemen in the league. He'll yeah. he'll just and then he'll you know he'll take long shifts and then he'll end up against the shorter the um, second, second defensive line. pairing and. Um, I mean, he last time uh, he played the Americans, he just torched us. Um, yeah, he's great. He's a great. He's a, he's a great, great player. player, and you know he's got size, he's got hands, and he's got a shot. But in this league, it's different than being a great player overall and being a great player in MNL. Yeah, and it's hard to say. Like the head of side of things, unfortunately, no one wants anybody to get hurt. He's been talking a big game all year. The first game they did lose. So it's unfortunately the, I don't he think wasn't, it was his fault. Though. He wasn't bad. I don't either. Um, I didn't get to see it. I was in the scrimmage for the other game type of thing. Mm-hmm. But either way, you want him in there. He's one of those yeah. characters within MNL that you want. Either I think it would have been the same result. You want good I, things I, to I happen or bad things to happen. Well. Hedis is one of those goalies where one night he's unstoppable. He's usually never horrible, mm-hmm. uh, but he's definitely he's when he gets goalie. on his hot streak, it's it's tough. And he's he's good co- bouncing back, especially with you guys talking all the shit yeah. you guys no, did. I, I agree. Honestly, we. The game, the first game could have been twenty to. He actually yeah. could. He played relatively well for keeping for an eight to two game for go to say a goalie played well. It could have been. It felt like it could have been twenty to two. Yesterday did not feel like we had chances. But you and every good one, every one you have, just not the number that we've had. I uh, in the first period, I, I, I think I anchored us in. There was a one timer from Doc Hollywood that I caught split second, made it made it look easy. But I felt I was super fucking tested, to be honest with you. I okay. had to be on my on my game. Well, good. I feel better now. Okay. 
we'll get this. We're going to get these assholes. So we've kind of talked about the first game. Obviously, we know that could leads us to game three with these people. So, uh, you know, your brother, the sniper, uh. actually gave us a call and left us a message. So before we go on to that, Ooh. I think we should hear uh, what the sniper has to say. Yo, it's sad sniper auto. These Tuesdays after a loss aren't quite as much fun, but just calling in because as Piercy loves to say, I'm, you know, one thing, I'm a bad winner and a bad loser, you know, so I was out there just being a <laughs> bad loser team. last night, hanging out at the party deck all night, you know, just being a real sore sport, you know, but uh, anyways, I'm just calling to beg and plead for Piercy to get off the North Stars bandwagon. Please choose the Tigers to beat us. You know, the curse of Piercy is too much to handle. You know, the Tigers, they outcoached us. They outplayed us. They outgoaltended us. It was just bad across the board. Stinks. I feel like we wasted an opportunity. But good news is we get another crack at it. So one game for all the marbles. Should be fun. Have a great show. Lucy Goosey played a good game. Got to tip my cap. Wood, Gangster Wood was all over the place. He's annoying as fuck, you know, for a lot of reasons. But he played a good game, you know. So got to tip my cap there. Have a great show. Look forward to listening and looking forward to a great Monday. Two game threes. It doesn't get better than that. Should be good for the fans. Bye-bye. So that sniper auto is always yep, so. you, love you too, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we always appreciate the calls. Um, no Grandma Geo again. I'm kind of sad about that. I it's, hope she's it's hard to wind up those funny. I, I was I was digging deep, and I so I don't know if that was part of it. Like it's hard to dig deep for the comedy on the, after the loss. I I couldn't do it. I'm like, what's funny? I'm like, nothing feels funny right now. So, so like, I don't know. W- one one thing asking me, Troy, I jumped on the bad wagon. I'm a North Star right now. I'm not jumping off. Um, you know, when we were talking the other day, you essentially were telling me I was one of the motivations that got the North Stars where they were. You you were considering putting my name on the keg with you guys because I am such a factor <laughs> on getting you guys to where you right, are today. Right. So why would I jump off now? Don't I, jump off. That that was I think he was emotional right there. Just, we're gonna try to stay calm. This this is a day of mourning. And tomorrow we'll wake up and it's going to be a brand new day with uh, game three in front of us. Now, now, we Ty, want, you, we you, want you on that bandwagon. You've been such an inspirational force as a coach for the Nordiques and other teams. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty much the same for you guys. You are. You are. I mean, we met, we, we can't, if I had a nickel for every time we've mentioned your name in our locker room, I mean, it's, it's, You'd have about tree fitty. Tree fitty. I'd have about God a nickel. Goddamn lock this monster. I'd have about a nickel. <laughs> I'd have about a nickel. Goddamn but lock this monster. No, we we appreciate it. any fan, any fan we can get. We don't uh we don't uh, discriminate, you know. So, but I that's why I want uh I want it to be the seals versus the north stars because my mom and dad promise they'd attend a game wearing one of each jersey so well um, uh, so you know, I'm, I'm out here to make sure that doesn't happen yeah, the, the only so. thing I'm, the only thing i've been sad about is i've been every day when i come home from work and i look in my mail i've been expecting a package from amazon or fanatics or somewhere else tell you know a random mystery package that i would just magically open up and have a north star shirt oh, in the mail man. that i could wear to viking ice arena every week to cheer on my favorite team that's left All but right. uh I haven't had that as of yet. I know what so. I'm doing at 11:30 when this show ends, <laughs> or 10:30, whatever time it is. So, so the so the dream is is still alive. So a couple quick things to note on this one is um, this is a 10 p.m. game. It's the second game in the shift coming up for this uh, North Stars Tigers game three. Um, I don't know why they get primetime billing. Mm-hmm. I like I like them getting primetime. I want the first game. Oh, I ah. I mean speaking for me, I hey bring Fister on. I will happily take. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if Matt Taylor's playing. I don't know if Dylan. I don't think it affects Dylan as much. But I'll take it. You want to bring Fister on a second game? Bring it on there. I don't care who you are. I, even the Sugars and the Shawnees who are in the Sertas, even them when I watch the game. Sometimes I'll see a Sugar in a second game and be like, that's pretty much the same Sugar I always know. But even on, there's other games where I'm like, Sugar's leaving lost a step. And I've had Fister. I've 
Fisher was a North Star at a 10 o'clock game. He he helped us win, but barely. It wasn't the same Fister. It's it, it, you can't help it. You're human. So I mean, honestly, if I'm the Tigers, I'm really considering that uh, heavily as to where whether uh, I play a, a guy on a second skate. I mean, he's gonna have an emotional game three. Winner, I mean, if he wins, he's gonna lay it all on the line and win. If he loses, he's gonna oh, be like, win. So the, so actually, so, you're kind of going where I, my first question yeah. was is. Do we know Matt Taylor or Hedis' status? I know the Matt goalie. Taylor, I would bet he's out. I would too. I heard he's out for <sighs> next season too. Now this is just a rumor. I heard, That's but... really disappointing. No one likes to see that. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, then there's also the Hedis factor. I, you know, he said as of yesterday he couldn't essentially parallel level get his uh, arm above that. Obviously, if there's something wrong there, you don't want to risk it. You don't want to be out for. I think you know, will months play. and months I, of time. I think will come Hedis is a gamer. He, he will play, but if I have to step in, I'm confident. Let's put it that way. Especially with all the all the chirping the North Star has been doing. Yeah. Hey, I like I said. All right, it, if we're checking boxes of, I do. I mean, obviously, you, a fister on a second game. I mean, it's I'm I'm happy. Those little busted breakaways, like the, the, the their goals. They he had like five breakaways because we win a face off slowly and he beat and then he beats the puck out to the point man and chips it out and gets a breakaway. And I was like it might not be quite as fresh especially if I lay a couple numbers on him. So one of the po- <laughs> so one of the podcasts I'm going to say our number one fan Mr uh J Skill 62 Skilly Willie uh he's saying get ready for Matt Taylor or M Taylor so okay, uh, there we go. Ooh. But I need to put some respect on his name. I need to put some respect on his name. Sorry, Matt Taylor. There you go. I'm going to go over to a neutral party because Dylan's semi attached to the Tigers with filling in Mm -hmm. uh, Woods. Knowing that the other game coming up, spoiler alert, there's going to be two game threes. Uh, (laughs) Didn't know. Are you going to be, hey, our fans out here might not know. Uh, Are you looking to bring in the same subs as last time? Are you looking to bring in guys that are going to be skating a first game kind of fresh out there? What would you be looking to do? Well, since it is the first slot, there is no opportunity to bring in guys who are tired. Um, but uh, from the chatter we had in our locker room, it looks like we're going to be bringing Le Boudre back uh, because uh, I do believe Edge is going to be out again. He came down with the flu last second, but tonight was, or sorry, uh, this coming week is a planned outage. And, um, you know, having to get an emergency tailor for or emergency sub for uh, Sam, um, Jimmy did good. That that is fair. That, um, that's uh, I think that I'm just... I'm sorry, Ty. Oh. Real quick, I didn't even notice <laughs> yeah. this, but we actually got points for Mr. Jeremy Drager to mute you for a few minutes, so oh, you're now well, muted. Drager. I had an amazing point. He's yeah. he's muted. So um, yeah. I mean, take my mic. Take my mic. I'm gonna get some booze. <laughs> I, I so coming back over to me about yeah. that question is oh. I would actually probably. Tr- if all things possible, I would try to stay with the same lineup just because. What, what team we're talking about? We're talking about the Tigers of Hedis and uh, Taylor are out. I would probably try to stay with those same subs. Oh, we were talking just about for that. the fact yeah. that Good as point, little though, as little Good chemistry point. as you have, you're gonna you bring the same people in. It does help. Obviously, that combination worked mm-hmm. last week. Fister so, and Finn, they so trying good. to bring in, um, you know, maybe a Sugar, a Trent, a Serta. You don't know what those people are gonna be like, and you've oh. already seen what that combination is. So yeah. I would personally go to uh, that same situation. Yeah, yeah. I, I, w- I would agree. I'd say uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, we now, got ties there. At least you know I got ties there. I love. But you do bring up Willie. you do bring up a good point that Fister is going to be coming off uh, an extraordinarily emotional game. Sorry. Um, yeah, then, you know that that is a really good point. But Fister still Fister. But even, if we lose, even, even Fister at ten percent loss is still one, yeah top three in the he league. He doesn't have that level eleven like uh, was it Spinal Tap. With the fucking amp, all of our amps go to eleven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fister's got that eleven. He cranks it to, but uh, yeah. I would say keep the same subs. I mean, Fister, he's rise or die. When he's out there, he's playing his fucking heart out. Especially yep. with us playing the first game, he's gonna lay it all on the line. Thanks. So, uh, Dylan, uh-huh. what would you see as the keys of the game coming into next week? Well, the okay. So if me or Hedis play either one. We gotta have a dominant fucking game. I mean, they they have fucking firepower. Let's just let's, let's call a spade a spade. Firepower all around. 
Defense has to do exactly what they did uh, last game. Keep the chances a minimum. Get the fucking puck out when, you know, when there's chances around. Just when in doubt, get the fucking puck out. And don't allow their first line to have... Um, Second Ellis. and third chance opportunities. Well, no, Ellis and Sniper in front of the fucking net with time and space. Just cancel that out. Cancel time and space out. I feel like that's a big one. And then when you get your opportunities, you have to capitalize. Yeah, I thought I thought uh, Ellis, he looked great last night. I thought so, too. He had a lot of good chances. He's a big body, super tall great guy. Shot. There, oh, he's always had a shot. He's always been able to snipe. Mm-hmm. He's one of those guys, though. He doesn't look like he's moving fast, but because he's so big and tall. He's like a giraffe. Like, he just starts <laughs> going by people skating. He had a couple of nice moves. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's been definitely, ever since that trade, he's been able to play more. I don't know oh, if yeah. it was work or whatever it was before he got traded. He missed a lot of games. He's been just looking better and better. So yeah. I feel like that's a key factor. Get him in a good position. Get him in the puck. Let him get some open shots. He's going to mm-hmm. snipe those things home. Yeah. Uh, Ty... It hasn't been uh, five minutes, but I don't have a timer. So, You're what do you think out. are the key, uh, the keys to your game next week against the Tigers? Um, first, I'd like to tread back real quick, just real quick, because I think it's interesting. It it kind of goes. With do the, you do it, you? It, go, it goes. It goes with the whole fresh legs. Versus, and if Matt Taylor really shows up, I have my doubts that he actually will pull the trigger and show up. I I think Hedis will, but I think he'll bail. Matt Taylor will come up with. It will hurt on Monday. It's going to hurt too much for him to play. Real quick, let me interject. If I do play and we win, Skillman, our bet's over. I get the pool party, and I don't get to shave my <laughs> there head. There you go. That's you, it. Yeah, there, that, that sounds fair. That's actually I mean, you're contributing. <laughs> yep. But my thing so, was, yeah. so what for the Americans game, I thought it was very interesting. Um, Edge goes out with the last minute flu. So the easy plug-in for me as a thinking would be Matt, T- or Matt LaPoudre. And I thought it was kind of creative by Manny to say, you know what? We're going to go with Easy E, Big Easy E, and, st- and stick him fresh legs, not maybe. I don't think a- we had a choice. Why not? No, you uh, No, you I, I, think there, I think there was something that um, it was actually um, someone was unavailable or something. Uh, I actually. Um, Matt I'm, above I'm his pay Matt grade. Lo- Matt yeah, above my pay grade. I- no, Matt, no, Matt LaFoudre could have been just plugged in for a game okay. two. I'm, and uh, I'm- I was sitting right next to him when we were talking about it. And he, uh, you know, it, I just thought it was kind of a, okay, we're going to take the maybe not as, you know, I think Matt LaPoudre has the higher, you know, seen as the better hockey player, but easy he's nothing to, you know, be ashamed about. But, and, you know, we've also had easy for, yeah. for a couple and of games, he and he's been, he's been solid and, for no, us. No, I like it. He's, I like he's it. Rock I thought it was there. a solid decision by Manny, but and not, some, you know, going kind of what maybe somebody might not do. I thought Manny made a good decision. And then you're keeping him on there. I'm easy. I'm in the Easy E fan club, so I mean, I'm all about. Oh, it. I I get fit so, playing against him. He's got so, that sneaky yeah. reach. So I thought that was inter- interesting. So you're talking about so, the wrong game. So okay, back to keys? where we're on track. Keys Panny, for, it's keys Panny's for your next fault. Game. It's Panny's fault. He muted me, and so I I just want to let him know that I'm going to say what I'm going to say. If it's five minutes late, it's five minutes late. So, anyways, our keys to our game. I don't know if we're going to keep that. So if you notice, they're playing. They played Ben and Ben and uh, Fister. Fister and Maki against the second line. So I don't know what that's saying. So there's some, you know, that because they're playing against Troy Pistol, Troy and Pistol. They're playing. Uh, who else is on? They're having Taylor is on D, and so they've got I mean, not the strongest line. So it was very disappointing to me. I don't know if these lines are going to say well, our lines might change a little bit. But if their lines stay the same, to me, we gotta beat we have to beat that line. That who is on I don't know who was on that first line for the Tigers. It was it, it was all. nothing it was nothing that pretty. There you I go. Mean, no offense to them. Who was I got horrible writing, so what the <laughs> hell is this? <laughs> it's oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. It looks like what? he gripped a pen so with we his got toes Skillman. and just okay. wait, wait, second line danced a jig over the paper. Skillman it, Skilly. Crunk, I know that was, but it wasn't Charles. Charles was lining up against me. I think it was Crunk, Ryan Allen, and Skillman. No, yeah, that's that's that was guess. line one against that. Is no, that line two. No, but they played it line against our line one. Okay, they matched that yeah. up against against Troy, Pistol Pete, and Joe Ellis. I'm getting. This I'm gonna be as, I'm gonna be as nice as I can to say my disappointment in the fact that we can't Pistol Pete, Troy, and Joe Ellis 
cannot light up. I'm sorry. This goes back to the point I was making on Slack this week, though. You're looking too much at how your forward lines are matching up and not how your forward lining up is met. Because the only the only forward you need to be worried about in that is the center. Because otherwise, it's your two Skillman? defensemen. Heffa ain't that good. Jeez, I mean, I love Heffa, but... <coughs> but without the that's, what you're, that's what you're looking at, all right? You, yeah. you should be looking at how your 2D and your center match yeah. up against that. And yeah, of course, your wings still need to be there and help facilitate a breakout yeah, that um, and get that play up ice. But it sounds like in that role, all they're trying to do is stop your momentum of your front line. Yeah, exactly. Of your first line. Exactly. No, and I get it. I get their strategy. So, their strategy so you, is you're hold you're that one. To, you're looking at too much at those wings and not as yeah. much at what they're what defensive pairing they're throwing at your top line. All right, Gangsta Wood. I'm not gonna fight gangsta, you. Gangsta, Gangsta. So how do you pretty much name Gangsta Wood? Can we get I, into that? I have no idea. So pretty much, okay. you're saying your strategy is to score more than the other team. No, we 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 have a lot of things going on. That. This is a day of mourning. This is a day of rest. This is a day of getting over the loss, and then we're going to the chemistry lab, and we're going to figure some stuff out. And uh, but yeah, we have to take advantage of whether that we have to deal with their little three man defensive strategy, and we have plans on that. And we we have to. I mean, uh, at least it wasn't a we, one three one. We have to adjust. I have to play better against. I was lining up against Sweet Maki, and I kept. Assuming they weren't going to pass to him, and they kept doing it, I did not do as I did not do as good of a job as I could have. I let Sweet Maki take it to me a couple times, so I, you know, I have to. That's not your my man, game. though. I understand it's not my man, but I'm shading. I'm telling you, when you get when the Tigers have the puck, there's times when I'm kind of fading and pretending he's not there because they normally pretend he's not there, and then they were kind of playing him like he was there. And so, so it uh, kind of mixed me up. So closing thoughts on this matchup to me is well one thing wood has to realize is we don't really play real hockey where you know our wings stay oh, at the top the where they're supposed to this is the they realest. drop down it's as far different. as you're I'm, I'm not real i'm it's highly different. aware of this but i'm also saying that i mean and this was something that we had to take in consideration in, in our game as well um who we were gonna like if we were gonna let sammy line up on the same side as whoop or mccracken yeah or mcshattuck sorry um you know, so, you know, I was the one who was going to be going to close out on him and let, say, you know, so, but that's our wingers going to cover the D-men. And mm-hmm. that's how it should be. Different game plans, different strategies. I get it. I, I, I understand what you're saying. but I, and I understand that it, it collapses and breaks apart and plays become broken. But you're not game planning for broken plays. There's two different ways to build a building. You know what I mean? Two different styles, different game Wood, plans. There's one of us in this building that's three and zero as a co- or oh three and one now as a coach. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's one of us that's zero and zero. Yeah. yeah. So uh, perfect record. There's, perfect record. No, no honestly, exactly. when Piercy says we don't play real hockey. Oh, that's complete garbage. Mm-hmm. I ref a, a lot. Of game, I ref a lot of games. I ref all these eight year olds that fucking fall down left and right, and I and I have had the opportunity. So, like, me when, on most Mondays? When they have the schedulers, <laughs> and they give me a good game, and they have bad judgment, and think Ty can handle it, I ref those games, too. And so, I see it. It's just, it is, there is, there's different things that work at different levels, and I'll give you that, but it's all hockey, and it's all, it's all, it's similar and different at the same time, and there's, there's things that are consistent through all levels of hockey, and uh, I, I, pro, I, I tip my hat to the Tigers team play the way they played mm-hmm. that day. Yeah, uh, that, it, that's it a half joke. Surprise. That's a half joke. It's always hard for anybody to, yeah. as a winger, to stay kind of up at their position and not get forced down. It's all a thing. Oh, absolutely. And as most of us not mm-hmm. playing, you know, being coached and doing drill after drill after drill after drill of kind of what you have to do and have that rammed into our head. It, it's a difficult thing. But let's yeah. move on to the second game of the night. We actually had the Americans versus Seals. The Seals were up one nothing in the series, but the Americans fought back and won this game. Uh, four to one. Kind of. Let's start out with some sad news. Uh, Sam Mackey. He actually uh, sounds like broke two bones in his ankle. Him Ooh. and uh, I believe Rattler. Was, was, it, was it Rattler? Or no, Pellet. No, Pellet. They kind of mm-hmm. you know touch each other. I didn't say they, anything they dirty. I was in. right. They were there. all dirty. No, it wasn't dirty at Pellet all. Felt horrible about it. It was just a hockey play. Honestly, it was a Pellet, hockey... Pellet was going was kind of about to put his arms up and just completely bitch about the call. And I actually was kind of, it was a 
penalty? No. Okay. No. Light, Here's what I it saw. It was the lightest penalty. You think he got a penalty on it? He did, which he I did. was upset about. And I agree. And yeah. I honest in that situation, it's hard with the guy writhing in pain. Uh, well, it's right, a little hard. Um, it's hard to argue. Then let's talk uh, about then. You know, if we're going to talk uh, about uh, soft penalties, mm-hmm. the Manny's penalty last Ooh. week that gave you guys the power play goal. Um, yeah, but there was no five soft. on threes. There's no five on threes I'm, for four minutes. But we're talking I about a call for a call, not a second call. That you, okay? So uh, we'll you, get, guys we'll like, you guys we'll got like you guys got like seven there. weak calls. But anyways, we'll keep get going. There. Okay, one at a time. Either uh, either no. way, Sam he broke take. two bones in his ankle. <laughs> hope you feel better, it wasn't Sammy. on purpose. It didn't look intentional no, in any way. Bad no, call, but I hope uh, you feel okay. I was kind of right in front of the area. You seen him fall. You could look down. You could see he was in a lot of pain. It was either you couldn't tell if it was his knee or his ankle. Depending on the injury, I don't know what's better or worse. It just sucks that he's hurt mm-hmm. in that manner. Uh, seems to be in good spirit, which is uh, good news. But and obviously, job, we ben. all want you to get a great well. Job, ben. Uh, ben was to the uh, scene right away, the instructing us, you know, get ice, taking off the that boot. That was weird he when he to... instructed me to do CPR because I was like, <laughs> I was so. He I just thought... want, he just wanted uh, Snapchat material. Okay, yeah, I was, I was thrown. A... I'm like, okay, fine. And Sammy started punching me. <laughs> That was weird because There's I was no right there, and I actually, I actually heard Sammy request to get you for the CPR. I, I, don't, I, know. I don't know. I didn't um, know there was tongue in CPR, but I... but yeah, Ben was able to take an empty beer case and use it as a splint on his ankle, which is uh, you know beer league MacGyver stuff over oh, there. Right. Which is, the red uh, green show right cool. there. Uh, we actually had a Mr. Jim Ellis. I think he was playing over in the other game on the NHL mm-hmm. ice, being able to shift over to help. Uh, Help out the Americans to give them the 10 guys uh, there. So we're going to start out with Wood on uh, this game. Why don't you give us your quick breakdown of this? All right. So we had, you know, we made a couple adjustments coming into this game. Um, Proctor. Well, yeah. Proctor being back was one, but Proctor, um, Proctor fucking Antioch things. played his first game on the wing all year. We moved Sips up from second line center to center the first line, moved um sammy back to the second line and it was sammy myself and uh manny um and pretty much all of our 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 intention was to get the puck up the ice um keep the puck in their zone and pretty much kill as much time as possible and let our stacked line one do as much as they could because sips is at the hot hand this year he's got he's before last night he's had a goal in our other two games yeah he scored against me the first game yep so uh you guys got out quick too. We we did and, three minutes in and uh, snipe. No, I wasn't the first shift of the game. It might have been. It might have been even that. I, quick. I think I think well, we said it was the first first shift of the game. Well, and yeah, that Proctor, Proctor did the first Proctor five minutes of the game. One through a screen. Uh, you know your D man was was screening and but I it, it, had was, it. it was it was it was snipe right off the shot of posting in. I mean that's that's a bomb. It's that's yeah. I should have had it all day, but okay, hey, you, 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 you got to give credit where credits due. Yeah. Proctor did Proctor things. And, I got to play better. Um, so then that second goal, uh, you know, after after that happened, it seemed to me that the Seals were um, struggling to stay up. They got a little demoralized and mm-hmm. um, were kind of a step behind and clutching and grabbing that, a lot. That deflated us that first um, goal. Uh, you know, they were just they were a step behind every play, and 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 I think. Sorry. And I think that's why so many penalties were called is because, you know, mm. they were just getting beat by a step and then just taking that extra clutch grab. There was hooks. There was holds. Um, I I think that, um, you know, going behind that early and getting frustrated had a lot to do with that, and that didn't help their momentum any. Um, did Proctor have the natural hat trick? Yep. He sure did for he his did. second game played in a row. Yeah, I mean, obviously from him missing a game to coming back, scoring three straight to guys put you guys up. That that's got to be a big and, boost and of then confidence. He, then he assisted. The he assisted on mine too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, moving over to Dylan over here, obviously as the goaltender of that game. W- what did you see there? Um, I got to stop that first shot. That's what it comes down to. That totally deflated I don't know, us. Man, you can't even see that. Oh, I can see that. Really? I, oh, well, then you should have stopped it. Yeah, it caught me off guard. Should have stopped it. <laughs> deflated us, but uh, from what? from our view, it looked like it looked like you know he just used the D man as a screen, and it was just wired to a wired to a spot that man. I, oh, I don't yeah. know. A lot of goalies are going to stop. Don't get me wrong. I had a late pickup on it, but also if I'm out a step more, my hands are up. I, I got to make that save. It was a, it's a slap shot from the top of the circles. I have to make that save. Deflated us, and then we came back. Played hard, 
and they're calling fucking everything. Not not the refs' fault. We take it out of their hands. Oh. We got our we got chintzy calls our way too. Mm, you guys. You guys had like what two calls? We had a five on three for four we had minutes a, in the you, first. You guys grade. had a five on three in the third. No. Oh yes, you did. Well, hey, oh yes, you did. That was too late then. The no, first it wasn't. No, it's too late in the no, game. It though. it changed the dynamic. Absolutely not. Yo, this is my opinion. Let me take over. Mute him. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> pay somebody to mute him. Woods, we gave no. you your time to talk about the game. Let's give this Dylan his opinion. his thoughts on the game, and then we'll kind of go for some questions. Especially afterwards. the way the game started, we got to get momentum back. We played hard. We played physical, and they're just calling fucking everything. They let the first game go. And they didn't let shit go with us. That's that's the way I look at it. There was no blatant calls besides you got to call Shawnee on Proctor because the stick went up and fucking Proctor did the whole thing. But we got to take it out of the refs' hands. It's not their fault. But it's just tough to come into a game like that when it's a uh, penalty killer power play for the f- whole first fucking period. I agree you that know? it was out of, out of the norm. Uh, there were definitely more calls. But again, um, I really think after those first two went in quick, you guys weren't playing as clean of a game you were you were a step behind every play and i believe that there was really a reason that all those calls were all those calls were made uh no, i don't think there was a reason why the calls were made you guys scored the second goal well, on of five on don't. three you guys scored a single like, of course you don't okay so let me keep going i digress so after the first two goals i felt like we weathered a storm and then the third period proctor gets another fucking goal which he got that beginning of second yeah second whatever and first beginning of second uh I was gonna say, yeah, I should have that too. It was a bad goal, um, and that really deflated us. And then we score, make it three one. Then you had a, a beautiful goal. I just gotta play better. I think now, I, Dylan, I put it on my shoulder. This was your second game of the night. Did that have any effect on your play? I don't think so. I think I think I played. I was in it. Um, I wasn't fatigued or anything. Just uh, perfect bounces for them. It happens. Proctor now, did Proctor things. I, I definitely think that third goal was a good bounce, like just fortuitous that he was able to calm that down and then get something on it. It was like a bouncing puck that came across the slot that he like knocked out of the air, knocked it down, and then got a shot all in just mm-hmm. like a half a second. It was actually pretty. And RD got was a the sticker. Goal? No, no, no. no. Proctor's, uh, third Proctor's third goal. Oh, Proctor. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's, our... that's Proctor. That's that's. With someone and, and, like Proctor, that's not like a luck goal. If it would be for someone else, well, that's well. It's, our D it's got pretty. a stick on it, and then it changed the trajectory, and we did a, like a knuckle puck. Went, whoop, 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 whoop. So, so uh, the other thing I'd like to bring up about this game was, as we know, the general is out, and he's the twenty fourth pick overall. You guys, in or at least in our chat, was saying that hold on, uh, Matt Lapudre was going to be coming in and subbing for him. And then kind of, I'm going to call it closer to the last second. All of a sudden, Troy Otto comes in, the 46th pick overall. Now, I think we can all agree that Troy has outplayed his coverage uh, this game. Season. But I, this season. Oh. But I think it would be fair to say is, is uh, he's not at Matt LaPudre's level as of right now. Was that a good move changing up for the Seals? Oh, hey. Mm-hmm. Go for I it. I was waiting for my thoughts on the game. Um, <laughs> I have two hot takes on it, and you kind of went into one. This wasn't a game. This, honest to God, if you want, I hear some whining about calls, and I'm on. <laughs> I'm totally on Wood's side on this one, and he's a diehard liberal, and I'm a Trump handsy. No this, politics. This, all those calls were real. The lightest one was the injury one. The lightest call was the injury one, and I could see not. But all those calls were absolute penalties. Hard hockey plays. And sure. But that doesn't mean they're not illegal. Yeah, and I I would side on Pellet so. maybe that it was was a little too light to call in a that's in a the definite no call, especially oh. for that. But regardless, so when we're in we're at, so I I don't like to call people out on the air, so I won't. But there's a text message from some guy whose name rhymes with Phelan B, um, and he was complaining about the calls, and to me to complain about roughing, I mean we've had the whalers have been calling complaining about Joe Cubes all year long. I mean, guys, I do so many beer league games, and it's like... Let me, let me, I, I like let not, me just say, though, it's not the Russ' fault we lost. We no, I, take I it understand. Off the I get fault. it. I get it. But mm-hmm. I was t- referring to, like, there, there was a text from Phelan B. Mm-hmm. N- this rhymes with somebody, but you could probably figure it out. Maybe on a seal, <laughs> and he wrote one, and he was feeling... You know, and it's just all garbage. Those are all legit calls, and sometimes you call... I mean, you've got to call you. You can't judge whether what's going to happen in the game as a ref is going to happen. And 
if you just you decide if you want to if you don't i heard i didn't watch the third i heard it got a little rough i heard wood and mcshannock had a little thing going the entire game i did not watch the third yeah, period which I was left. a good hockey play it, yeah and what, in my opinion it was if I wasn't looking for anything out of any of our exchanges. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't think there was anything the that ref, would have pressed into, okay. pressed into penalty territory. So let me ask a question to the ref real quick, though. In a championship type game, do you let do you let the them play the game, or do you dictate will, the game as a ref and you put your stamp on it? Okay. In so such a knowing game, when I go into a beer league playoff game, not not beer league, a playoff game. Right. No. Well, it's mm-hmm. a beer elimination league playoff, game. It's a playoff. I set the tone. If I'm worried, yep. if I'm worried, that's absolutely, I did that. We had a playoff game with these little Turnbull who's on the, on the whalers. I did his kids game and we, and my, my ref Seidel, he's like the scheduler. He's like, Ty, this shit's going to get intense. We're going to call our first penalty is going to be solid. These kids are like the one right before they check, they check next season. So they like within three weeks of checking, it's like, these kids are going to be animals. This is playoff. He's like, you're going to set this. We're going to, if it gets crazy at the beginning, we're going to set this tone early. Our third period, we set the tone. Do you communicate early. with the team and the coaches first? No, so? fuck. No, I don't no, no. It's, not, they're, it's they're, not your job no, to. No. As a ref. I'm just no. telling you that that was a strategy of a ref who I look up to. Mm-hmm. He told me that. This was on Saturday. And and he made the call. And our those first two periods were rough as fuck. These kids are just ready to check. They're like within three weeks of going over the threshold and becoming checking players. And it was fucking intense. And then the third period after 3,000 penalties, not, that's an exaggeration, but we made calls. Were they equal, though, on each side? They, they were Eventually, yeah, just like yours. And maybe it was too late. They were even. The numbers were even. And we talked about this in Ivory Tower. Stats. Like, Drager, we need but, stats. No, it, and he was the one who wrote they were even. Drager was in the Ivory Tower saying they were even. So my point being is, Yes, you come in knowing that you're going to set a standard and that will hopefully tone things down because you know things are going to go. You're not afraid to make the early call. I don't want to, no one rep wants to call penalties, but if they come to you, you call them. And that and all those penalties, I was watching the game pissed off, angry because we had just lost and nothing struck me as like, oh my God, how is he, why is he calling that? I mean, like you have Proctor, Proctor's the biggest slinker in the entire league he's got the slinky thing he cried but i mean that was up on the neck yeah the other one was totally legit legit the pellet one i could have let go but so, it's a hard the, argument the now point, listen listen the just, points move on my point on my behalf yeah. because we gotta take it out of the ref yeah it is what it is my second move but. my second hot take mm-hmm. complaining about the refs is just the oldest boringest thing in the entire world the person you want to blame shawnee and todd otto they blew that game you have you have the man. You have the man who has won three kegs out of three seasons on the ropes down 0-1. And you decide, oh, you don't you don't make Fister. You say, oh, Fister, go beat the North Stars. Fister wasn't himself. Don't even tell that was he got that beautiful goal. That was a touch thing. I mean, that was a beautiful goal he got. I mean, he tucked it in that like the on the short side there. Mm. Gorgeous. But his energy wasn't there, and you you're saying you weren't tired, but maybe you were a little mentally fried. You just said you didn't have that goal. Yeah, Todd, you know then, what? And then what Piercy said. Piercy said, "I have nothing against Troy Otto. Troy Otto has. When you think about okay, we're gonna line Troy Otto sniper up with Shawnee and Fister. That actually is kind of appealing because yeah, you got this finisher. Yeah. But if you keep in mind one thing, Troy scored some big goals this season. But guess what? Normally they're at nine o'clock, and I'm crying and bitching at him because he's playing in that nine o'clock, creating mm-hmm. all these fireworks, and then showing up in our games dead as shit. So this is Troy Otto on game two, or you got a Matt Lapudre. I've also had Matt Lapudre play at ten o'clock for us many times. He's sub for Graham, who misses all the time. Ruble and uh, Matt Lapudre have been our subs. Ten o'clock, Matt Lapudre looks pretty damn similar to Matt Lapudre. In game one, he's one of the guys who can handle the second skate. He's still carrying, but he wasn't going to be our forward. That's an opinion. I no, asked Matt Lafoudre as I was watching. I'm like, he was going to okay, be our D. Man. I'm like, Matt, I get it. You want to keep your chemistry of your D. I get. I, I understand the philosophy behind it. Not I, even that. I get but it. Who we're going to put like, at forward? I'm like, much Matt Lafoudre. Are you Mister Play Triple A Hockey growing up in high school hockey? Could you handle playing left wing? With terrible players, Fister and Shawnee, could you find a way to dig deep in your soul and play a little good hockey? He's like, no, I couldn't do it. 
I couldn't do it. You know, that's too <laughs> shit, too shitty of talent. I couldn't do it because I played D. <laughs> With all due respect, Troy, Todd Otto and Shawnee, uh, if if the Seals go on to win, it's all for naught. But we, you literally have history in the making. In and I don't want to make it seem too big, but I mean, the guy has won every single year, and you have him back against the wall in a corner. The guy's not even talking on Slack. He's never gone done the Whalers gag order on Slack. You've got him up against the wall, not talking on Slack. I mean, he's a. You just let him off. You let him off the mat. You gave him his one and done. That was not a fucking game. That was not a fucking hockey game. That shit was over. That's why I walked out. I'm not watching. I didn't even, I was pissed. I stayed when they got the goal to make it three to one. I was like, okay, maybe I'm overreacting. Then they popped in the four one. I'm like. Fuck this shit. I was so pissed off. I'm like, Todd Otto and Shawnee should be ashamed of themselves. They, I mean, and, and I hope it's all for not. Because I have this, I have, I'm rooting. Oh, for Shawnee the, had a heartbreaker too. I'm rooting for the Seals of uh, 51 to 49. 51 because it's my brother. 49 because I want the honor, which I haven't earned yet, to take Proctor out myself. Because he's earned it. I mean, it's taking Proctor out. He's won all three years. That is... He is the one who wins the catch. So I would like that honor. I haven't earned that. I was hoping I would have earned that honor yesterday to be yeah. sad. I could be in the finals if he's there, but that didn't happen. But so I, I had to reel anyway, this in a little bit. Reel more. It in, so we, we've talked about those subjects there. Uh-huh. So that kind of brings us to next week. It's the nine o'clock game, obviously, because the other one was the 10 o'clock game. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, one of the things is I assume there's no chance the general is going to be back. So that brings in the sub again. Ruben. General texted me and said, the Seals obviously need me. I don't think he's going to play, but he did text me. But we know Rubel's kind of been that. So sounded like he was going to be the long-term suffer the playoffs. I don't know if he was sick, injured, whatever it was last week. Let's just assume he's there, or you have a Matt LaPudre as a possible option or someone else. My big question there is, Proctor came in. He scored three goals. He kind of mm-hmm. tore the defensive Proctor apart. Proctor did Proctor things. He did his Proctor things. Do you look and and I think Todd he's been pretty firm about I don't want to mess up our defensive chemistry I'm worried about that I think we're gonna go to an outside source here mm-hmm. because everybody else in this room besides two of us are pro- actually you're probably not neutral at, let's face facts but I'm gonna go to you anyways because you're the closest thing we have to neutral thing for what I'm neutral like I said I want the honor of beating Brock you got your brother anyways would you consider oh. you're bringing in a sub say it's Ruble say it's Matt Lapudre. Are you going to put that guy back at defense? Are you going to move a Todd up to forward? Are you going to put a Allen Z up at forward? Are you switching it up? Proctor tore it up. He scored a hat trick super fast. You know, within the first shift, obviously something was up with that defense where you need some adjustments. What adjustments are you making if you're the Seals? I'm not messing with my. That was uh, that was not a game. That was a hand me. That was a give the Americans a game three. That was, you, they, I would never, I would never, I would not mix up their defensive chemistry. They've got their little thing going. Todd and McShannock, Todd does his little stationary thing and orders McShannock around. And <laughs> that works. It, it's it's funny, but it works. And they've got their partner. So I it's absolutely would, true. I would absolutely not, met, I'd keep it. Look, I've watched Ruble. I've refed his games. I've refed with, you know, I've, he can play. These other people can play forward. I would keep your chemistry. And Todd was going to have Rubel play wing. That was the whole plan. Rubel had mm-hmm. the flu. Rubel was going to play for us, for Graham, and he was going to play wing with uh, Fister mm-hmm. and Johnny. I was that, happy to see Rubel out. That was the plan. So mm-hmm. Rube, that was the plan, and then he got sick, and then they were then they went to Matt Lapudre, and then last minute they had the amazing thing and. And I told Todd as soon as he did, I'm like, "You are so fucking stupid." He, he like, asked the team what they wanted, and yeah, that's fine. People spoke up, and that's that's what yeah, they read. I can't have, help it. There's know? dumb seals it was... everywhere. Yeah. So it's like it's they're not known for their brains; they're known for their hockey ability. Fister, I wonder what what was Fister's vote. Now, Dylan, yes, you're the goalie for the team. Mm-hmm. Is it just a bad game? Yeah. Is adjustments need to be made? How, how do you feel about what needs to be done for the team for the keys of the next game? I mean, it's one loss. Why panic? I mean, we they're bound to win one. Proctor's a good enough player. Proctor did Proctor things. He's going to have a stellar game. He's going to win one. He got it. Now it's time for us to right the ship. And, you know, we're not... Everybody's looking at us like, what they do, Ronda? No, we're the fucking juggernauts. We play our fucking game. 
we get our dick sucked. At the end of the day, we want our dick sucked. We get our dick sucked. That's fair. You no, guys, you guys, guys won. Second. Well, you got nine o'clock, so that's in your favor. So you guys you won the president. Yeah, you guys got the this. president's trophy. You guys mm-hmm. had the most points coming in. You guys got the nine o'clock game. Mm-hmm. You know everybody's gonna be fresh on top of that. So yeah. there, uh, Wood. I'm not gonna ask you about the steals. Obviously, you guys had a very nice game. Any changes? Any adjustments? I, I assume I really don't you would have to it. ask Charles first to be a sub. I don't know if he would turn that down based on wanting to be fresh for the Tigers. If not, it's probably a, a Jim Ellis on that side of things. But otherwise, I, I assume you're pending. looking to have the strategy be the same and hopefully Proctor does Proctor things and the rest of the team plays solid. So here's here's what we've been you know looking at. We we look at the last few games we played the Seals, right? Aside from the first game of the season. Each game has gone to a one goal game in the last minute of the game. The last, the, before the playoffs, uh, two, one went to one went to shootout, and two were empty net goals with the within the last 15, 20 seconds of the game. So we're taking this juggernaut, <coughs> and we're playing them to damn close games. Mm-hmm. So we like how we match up against them, no matter how we play. Right now, we've made these tweaks. Um, if you look at the games, they were not threatening on the rush we were able to shut them down on the rush that's with shawnee and fister their speed if we can minimize their damage on the rush great um where they scored their goals in game one rebounds both goals other than the empty net goals came off rebounds i feel like monday we did a much better job at getting on that loose puck and getting it out of J Flow's. Uh, J Flow played great too. J uh, Flow always plays great. It's, mm-hmm. it's a blessing First to have him in game. net. Uh, it's a blessing to have him in net. But uh, we did a better job helping him out and getting the garbage out in front of the net. Mm-hmm. And I think with th- those two things, I really like our chances. Uh, I don't think we need to change anything up. Um, what what we did there, um, you know, our second line, all all we were focused on was, like I said, getting that puck up the ice. With you know myself, Manny and and Mackie, we're we're not going to be creating a whole lot of threatening offense. We can get a couple things that you guys are pests. You pump your yep. tires. You played fucking fantastic. I thought you did. I, I was yeah. surprised at how much yeah. you did get it up the ice. You get the second star of the game. Yeah, I, sure. I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect Dylan anything. Wants to jack you off right now. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> expect anything different from either team of what you guys want to do. <laughs> if I was the Seals, I honestly would consider changing up the defense. I would put Ruble or Lapoudre back there. But you want to you want to throw a new ch- well, yeah. Anytime you throw Ruble back on on a D line, uh, any, that, that's any my four, personal out of opinion. Any four guys in the league, you're probably going to be improving that. Whoop, four Whoop is pairing. very smart hockey sense. He's got very good sure. hands. He makes the pass off. Mm-hmm. He's been playing forward a lot for the uh, K Falks. He can handle that's that. I would be throwing him at a wing. You know, using him for those break. Though. Hold on, hold okay, on. Let me finish my okay. thought. I'd be using him for those breakout passes. He's more than competent, can get it done, get in front of the net. Mm-hmm. He's very similar to uh, a Troy sniper as far as he can get the puck in the right position. Mm-hmm. He can Deadly. he can put that in the right spot to score a goal. Yeah, and then Pierce, plus you have, my mind a bit. plus you have one more lockdown guy back there on defense. If you get like especially like to me like a Matt Lapudre, uh, say a Ruble just for the fact that if okay. I'm the Tigers, I'm gonna say. Matt, we prefer you not to play because we want our guys fresh. If I'm either yeah. GM on either on any of the four teams, yeah, for I'm going to tell my Absolutely. team I can't do anything about it, but we'd prefer you not to suffer mm-hmm. another team. That would be my personal recommendation to my team. You can't, if they decide to do it, there's nothing you can do. Well, maybe I probably wouldn't care for the 9 o'clock teams. If you want to do for the 10 o'clock, go ahead. But yeah. if I'm either of those 10 o'clock teams, I'm saying, mm-hmm. guys, I feel like we should not sub if you do it. Yeah. Whatever, but also now now I'm looking back at uh I got McShannick back there I got Z back there now I got Ruble back there um who's the other seal adding Ruble uh, back there is Leroy. scary Leroy. Leroy back there all yeah, of a sudden you I mean, look at that I don't and that like that is at all two <laughs> lockdown defensive teams Whoop is more than competent for your Whoop's lockdown though for your wing. That this is just my opinion yeah. of the adjustments and, that I possibly would make. Mm-hmm. Those are Sorry. my opinions there. Mm-hmm. It's what I would do. I feel like, and you know, Dylan, you're one of the best goalies in the league now. Thank you're you. Possible Thank rookie you. of the year Thank you uh, very much. candidate. You and Fister, both seals type of thing. Fister but takes like, the cake, but thank you. You know, all of a sudden they're not getting any scoring you chances. Two are they're locking also it the down. Of the draft. You know, that type of thing. All of a sudden it turns into a 
giant puzzle for the Tigers or for the Americans of how they're going to score. Mm -hmm. And you still got those offensive lines of Fister mm -hmm. and all those other guys that are going to be able to take it up, get their opportunities. And like I said, to me, Whoop is still that late round guy who he's not, not only is he can score if he gets the puck on his stick in the right spot, mm -hmm. but he is a lot better than a, is that probably like probably eighth round, maybe even mm -hmm. seventh round up. If you get him a breakout pass in the right spot, mm -hmm. he's going to know where to go and he's going to get that up yeah. to actually make that play yeah. on offense. And with the That's health fair. of wellness, he's moving. But real quick, let me ask a question. In a game three elimination game, you, you want to do something totally different right. than you've done all season. I'm with him here. It's tough. Absolutely. You do? I, I think you that's wanna, ballsy. I, I you've had um, so much success throughout yeah. the year. You, I, I mean, there's no right or wrong answer, but you like to gamble like that? Me personally, no. I would have been, I, I would have been doing that ever <laughs> since you knew the general. If you knew you're bringing in, to me, if you're bringing in Ruble as that sub the whole time, mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing the whole time. But mentally, That's not a change already, to me. That's mm -hmm. more of a... You're not, you don't bring in Ruble for a forward. You find another guy. You have essentially, like we said, the general, I think, is the 24th pick. You uh -huh. have 25 on. You can bring in a sub, long-term guy. That's a lot of list guys who can score. You're looking for a forward in that situation. And that could be why they brought in Troy last week yeah, that definitely type was. of thing. But Le you don't bring in Ruble in that situation. That's what we're going to have. We're going to have Leroy with not his pair of skates. That was a big... I don't know if everybody knows this. McShannick didn't have his skates. <laughs> Leroy was going to have some fucking plastic Tonka toy fucking skates. It, it was a gift the entire way around it. I mm -hmm. honestly think, I think both game threes are going to be, we've kind of, I mean, the, oh, they're going to be tremendous. When we had, we had the one game playoffs where both went, mm went. -hmm. The game ones were of the series were both went, went. Yeah, and the Whalers last had a tough night, time. Last night, your game was a, I mean, I knew, I walked out because I was, Curious, but for other reasons, but and our our game was okay, but it wasn't that great. I think the hey, game, at least I stayed for my goal. I think the game three. I think the game threes are going to be awesome. To be honest, yeah. they're going to be. I think it comes down to our game. I agree. If Proctor knew Proctor things, great. The, the, they got the win. If Fister can do Fister things, if we score first, if we score the first two goals, and I'm on my game, that's, It'll that's be tough. all considering. That's a tough, that's a tough I got to be on my game, no doubt. I got to be the the best. One of the best players on the, on the ice. That's how I feel. Well, and you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing my thing. I'm gonna keep oh, getting, you're buzzing. In, getting so, in the defenseman's face, taking away their time, and forcing them into making predictable plays so through what, the neutral what, zone. What was the McShann? I missed. I, was there? Was it? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I just want to hear. I want to hear the blood and guts. So, so basically, what was happening was he would be taking his time in moving the puck. <laughs> like he'd be going to, to to go retrieve a puck where he's got you know he's got the steps. He's getting that to that puck first. But I get on my horse. At the red line, be physical and and get in there. There were a couple times actually. There was at least one time where I actually beat him to the puck and took body position, and he yeah. did not like that. Is that is yeah. it true that what? Because somebody told me some people were saying that you said, "Now you're gonna find out why they call me gangsta when you went in the corner." Somebody oh, said, I saw it. Somebody, I said, saw somebody it. said this way. You can I find can, out. I, why. I cannot confirm oh. nor deny. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna plead the fifth. No self incrimination <laughs> on these airwaves. Um, so we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, we haven't actually uh, done. We haven't, we haven't done predictions yet, so we're gonna do prediction on this game. I'm not Let's gonna ask anybody piercy. that's officially on a team to do a prediction so for a game. Biased. <laughs> no, no. Mm -hmm. So the first game of the night is going to be. Ooh, this is tough. Uh, we'll say. Well, I guess it's the nine o'clock game. Is gonna be the Seals and the Americans. Uh, we have a Seal. We have an American. We're gonna keep you out of this one. So we're gonna head over to Ty first for your prediction. All right. Uh, I think the North Stars are going to win four to two. Oh wait, we're going to do the nine o'clock. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think the North Stars are going to win four to two. I think it's going to be a good game, but I think we're going to get an empty netter at the end. Now this game is really hard, but there's this one picture. There's a picture. I don't know if you guys, you guys are amateur rookies of the season. There's this one picture that it haunts me in my new dreams. It's one of the, some asshole with number 22 on his jersey and he's going like this <laughs> and i don't want to know and and but i don't think i, I like. swear to, i don't think it's gonna ever say this until maybe next season but i think he's gonna get to the finals against us i think we're gonna take his ass down because but this guy's gonna get it done on monday and troy and whoop or shawnee and whoop can think about how they just gifted this last game to them and that's sad you know, because I, I actually want to see my mom and dad come. 
and wear uh, opposing jerseys, but I think they can still come I think and wear that, them. Yeah, I know, but I think this is gonna be. I think this guy's gonna do it. So. If so, I was sucking, if I was sucking his dick, you're deep throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, just saying. So you you two are out of it because if you don't pick your own teams, I'm not going to respect you there. So we're going to go over to me for this other pick there. So mm-hmm. originally, I think before the series started, I actually picked the seals just based off. How can uh, how can you blame? Just based off Proctor record. being well, Proctor being gone. Because I actually said before the seals were my pick. I think in the preseason to actually take the. Uh, first pick. place. I think I picked the Whalers. I had to there, mm-hmm. but to take first place outside of that, I took the Americans there. Mm-hmm. I actually have said I thought they have been they're the more talented team, but with Proctor gone, I gave them the advantage. But I also did say I felt like they had to do it in a sweep. I felt like they had to get that first game, which they did, and then they had to come out blazing and get that second game. Uh, and if they weren't, they were in trouble. And even though I did take the Seals, I did say they'd be in trouble if it went to a third game, and because of that. I've said all year I thought the Americans were the more talented team there. And I'm going to continue with that. I feel like the Seals blew a big moment in game two. I felt like subbing in Troy was the wrong move. I don't think that had any tangible outcome. You can... We all have our opinions. Sure. That's just my personal thought. I thought they... It's my fault for that. I thought they they blew... I don't let that first goal Blew game number two. I thought they needed to finish it there. Now with Proctor... You know, smelling blood in the water. I think he's going to come through and he's going to make it to his fourth final in a row. So that then brings us to uh, the next game where we're going to leave Ty out of this one. We already, of course, he had to throw in his little 4 2 thing, but nobody heard that. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to bleep that out of the actual podcast so it'll be gone. Um, (laughs) What? Is this Russia? What the fuck? (laughs) Fake news. Ty's been muted again. Uh, Oh, you want my mic? You want my mic? Let so we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start. Uh, <laughs> Woods, yeah. We so, have the North Stars. We have the Tigers. How do you see this game unfold? Well, you know what, and that's gonna largely depend on who ends up being in net, in my opinion. Um, I think that there is a chance that if um, um, Hedis returns, this could be a four three five four kind of affair. Dylan's in net. I don't know. I think maybe um, it ends up being like a one three three two, and I'm gonna give Thank the you edge. Very much. I'm gonna give the edge to um, to the Tigers here. Ooh, hot take. Hot hot take. Hot uh, take. Because if they play the same way that they did um, last night, I I don't know the the North Stars are With gonna the have same to lineup they're, too, right? yeah they're gonna have to they're gonna have to show more uh, because they didn't they didn't connect well. Um, from what I saw. Dylan, thoughts on this game? Um, North Stars is going to be ready to rock and roll. Gio's going to come out for vengeance. He's already fucking blowing up the fucking slack line coming <laughs> after me. <laughs> so you know he's already going to be ripping and roaring. He's got uh, me chirping him, fucking firing him up. But it all comes down if the Tigers can weather the storm. I think with me and Hedis in that, I, I don't see much difference either or. You know what I mean? Hedis is going to come with a fucking vengeance, especially getting traded. He plays really well on revenge. Like I don't, I I don't get, I don't play good when I'm emotional. He does, but I think I I say that because I think the emotions will be high on both sides, and it'll just be like one of those affairs where everyone's going to be just laying but, it all out there. Let's say if He Man or Sniper Auto scores in the first fucking period, and they do their fucking yeah. woo woo right yeah. in the face, exactly, it might be done. <laughs> it might be done. Uh, but what if the Tigers? You know, what if the Tigers then come back and start answering? Yeah, he might be letting some in, but you know, uh, then, then we're looking at answering. The back, Auto Brothers back and forth. score. It's it's a fucking block party. Mm. It's a block party on that fucking bench. Uh, just Everybody's me. invited. Yeah, Skillman's. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, I do want the North Stars to win. Sorry, Skilly Willie. I want that. F- I want that fucking uh, pool party. But you better be careful with these. <laughs> the one time I was on here, I uh, predicted the a game against the Tigers, and then they needed me to sub on the Tigers, and they used the broadcast of me what? picking against the Tigers as a reason to nullify my right to sub for them because we have the sub rule. Uh, I'm like, no, we can't. Tell the rule. Well, I don't want to say. I look, I look like Bobby Hill from King of the Hill with my head shaved. I do not want that to happen. Let's not but. forget about your great moment talking shit about the Whalers and getting uh, shit pumped against them the next game as well. So, right. uh, and, and a hot take. Let's go Tigers. 
Fuck it. Let's go Tigers. Let's go yeah, Tigers. I mean, he's in a corner. He's I love an upset. Playing. I love a fucking upset. <laughs> he's but you probably know, playing. I just shave my the head. Tigers, the Tigers winning head. doesn't do the Americans favors. As far as our regular season record, the Tigers have handled the Americans pretty well. And, yeah. and I mean... I don't know. I I like our chances in the keg against the North Stars better than I do the Tigers. At, judging by That's our regular season, vice versa on that one. So would, right, right. The, the Seals, the Tigers, and the fucking yeah, North no, Stars. Yeah, no, no. Uh, the Seals have, have been um, up against it against the Stars as well. So, but last game we did play the scrimmage. Nobody likes to fucking bring this out. We I wasn't won, there. We won it's a scrimmage, three, bro. But we won nine three. Cool Everyone's game. chirping me eight one eight one through do my you know, stick. Do you know the North Stars class. official record? Uh, when I don't show up, oh, and seventeen. But do you remember the last game we played? No way. Yeah, the, for real. Yeah. So we'll we'll talk about that if we actually get to the final. Yeah. So kind of. So what do you just skip all the games with, that uh, that you're all matched against? Up. I haven't missed a game this year, but I missed the scrimmage. So wrapping up with me, the two teams. Uh, you know, I've been on the North Stars bandwagon ever since the trade, obviously. <laughs> uh, I, I, I did help them. I did say oh, that they won yeah. those trades. Um. I still think the head is Riley, the crunk, all of that. That's still a tough one to judge. I don't know if there's a clear cut victor, but I think the Nordiques trade obviously was uh, a big win for the North stars. Ever Fuck since you, then Traeger. we've looked at that team. We've seen what a tough th- uh, team it is. Uh, I'm going to pick them to win. I'm assuming Who's Matt Taylor. I'm assuming Matt Taylor is going to be out. Uh, if Fister comes in, it doesn't matter. So uh, North Stars, you're, you're predicting. I'm picking the North Stars to win. I think they're safe gonna. Bet. I think they're the. They had a tough I game, but I think bet. they don't have a weakness. That's the. That's the tough thing about them. Uh, that's mm-hmm. fair. That's fair. Two first lines. You know they they have pretty much your first two lines going against there. It's not that they're, you know, they don't have that line that you're just looking at. It's like oh, they're gonna kill our first line type of thing. But well, when you both patch their, both their lines are, I mean, they're definitely good lines, but. When you match them up against a different line, like the combinations that can happen, everything that happens, there's just there's no weakness. They're going to stay on you the whole time. It's going to give you that pressure to go against the whole time where you can't let up. Or against some other teams, there's that second line, like you were saying. What's like not to say that your second line's bad where it is with what you Manny and let's say different Ellis philosophy. type um, of thing. A tenth. You know, different philosophies. That side of thing though is, but you know, you still got to try. You still got to do anything, but you have. The pressure isn't fully there again, is what it would be against the number one line. Right. Someone like the North Stars, you have that pressure going up. They're just waiting for you to make that mistake and then trying to capitalize. So it gives you no uh, time to breathe. And I think that's going to be the difference in this game. But, you know, the flip side to that is when you've got players like that, I mean, sometimes you can be, you know, a little couple steps ahead of yourself and be making plays that you and causing transition chances. Just yeah. trying to do a little bit too much because you think you're going up against a weaker line. These, yeah, these these things happen. Have some more shrooms. Please, um, let's do it. <laughs> that's a, that's a I mean, all, all right. I, I, I guess. Yeah, Threaten me with a good time. I need some yeah. therapy. Yeah. It's been a rough, rough Tuesday. I need a little. So, yeah. So, Lucy next, Goosey, so next week, we have two game threes. No, no, no. It'll no, be no, exciting. No. Then we'll next week, we'll review those games and move on to the keg finals. I mean, so, we we really are in for in for a barn burner on on Monday. I'm really looking forward to best, it. Uh, I I'm, so I far? just I just want to say uh, how happy I am to have been invited into this league this year. Me as and, well. And and this has just been this has been fantastic. Yeah, thanks you boys. It's been a pleasure having both you guys. Mm-hmm. Love you know, you guys. when you bring in these new guys. It's always like, oh god, who are they? It's, you know, it's, that that know. might be more of a postseason topic of like what's the best season last Show year. Obvious. Gratitude. How dare you? Well, last year. <laughs> well, shut it down. Wrap it up. Get Wrap it up. Out of here. We're we, done. We Get muted your mic. We muted your mic. Wood. <laughs> We're taking over. <laughs> well, well, what I was going on to was last year we actually had a, a game three that went into overtime in the finals. So that's that's really happen. that's really tough to beat. We got to see how things finish out. Obviously, a second round of having two Kool-Aid. game threes is uh, a very exciting thing. But uh, like I said, next week we'll go into what those games are, preview the finals. If you're interested in kind of coming on, if we get some... Uh... Nope, same panel. This is luxurious. Yeah, same panel. <laughs> <laughs> We're kicking Piercy out. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can find some uh, analysts that aren't... Uh, you know, too tied to the game. Yeah. Some people are already eliminated. If Emotion, not, baby. That's what people come for. That's what they watch. We're the always emotion. there. But in the meantime... Yeah, let's get some guys who have 
checked out like two weeks ago. That's yeah, a, that's yeah. A really they, P- they haven't they, even showed they, up they, to the ring. They, 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 what did you think about the game? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I got some black eyes on uh, that. Apex Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Here, te- check out my channel. <laughs> There's a lot of 10 year olds watching my Apex. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> So, as anyways, if you're interested in coming on next week, let me know. Uh, if not, give us a call on the Whoop line, 71475-WHOOP. Email the show, podcast at mnlhl.com. Follow, subscribe on Twitch. And, uh, you know, this show will also be up on YouTube as well, youtube.mnlhl.com. Also, please um, write in and, and let me know why I'm getting the nickname Gangsterwood, because this is actually the first time well, I've heard of it. Well, this is the first, I, the first time I've heard Gangster. Yeah, Troy's yeah. Been, I, honestly, Troy, I don't... Who Troy called you that, and I he's always I always known you only as Gangster Wood, <laughs> and then I just kind of click like, why are you Gangster Wood? I mean, oh, he don't fuck around, but, the fuck around. And now that I heard what you were saying to McShannick in the corners, <laughs> now <laughs> Danny walks sense. around his house on tiptoes, dude. He's got the Glock, he's got the burner ready for Danny anytime. <laughs> but I like it. You know, if you hang around, no reindeer games. If you hang around autos long enough, <laughs> not very long. If you hang around an auto, you will get a nickname. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. So, so anyways, uh, I, I think we're over. Bye. We out. <laughs>